Right, here we go. Um, first wiki reading. My first wiki reading. On peace. This article is about the idea of full harmony and the absence of hostility. For other uses, see peace. Disambiguation in brackets. Peace is an occurrence of harmony characterised by a lack of violence, conflict behaviours and the freedom from fear of violence. Commonly understood as the absence of hostility and retribution, peace also suggests sincere attempts at reconciliation, the existence of healthy or newly healed interpersonal or interpersonal relationships, prosperity in matters of social or economic welfare, the establishment of equality and a political and a working political order that serves the true interests of all. Ooh. And there's a whole massive list of subcategory headings. Etymology. The term peace originates, originates most recently from the Anglo-French pes and the Old French pay, meaning peace, reconciliation, silence, agreement, 11th century. But pes itself comes from the Latin pax, meaning peace, compact, agreement, treaty of peace, tranquility, absence of hostility, harmony. The English word came into use in various personal greetings from around 1300 as a translation of the Hebrew word shalom, which according to Jewish theology comes from a Hebrew verb meaning to restore, although peace is the usual translation. However, it is an it is an incomplete one, because shalom, which is also cognate with the Arabic sh salam, has multiple other meanings in addition to peace, including justice, good health, safety, well-being, prosperity, equity, security, good fortune and friend friendliness. Uh, citation is needed, apparently. At a personal level, peaceful behaviours are kind, considerate, respectful, just and tolerant of others' beliefs and behaviours, tending to manifest goodwill. This latter understanding of peace can also pertain to an individual's introspective sense of cont contempt of her <laughs> introspective sense of con or concept of her himself, as in being at peace in one's own mind, as found in European references from circa cir uh, around 1200. <clears throat> The early English term is also used in the sense of quiet, reflecting calm, serene and meditative approaches to family or group relationships that avoid quarrelling and seek tranquility and absence or disturbance or agitation. An absence of disturbance or agitation. In many languages the word for peace is also used as a greeting or a farewell. For example, in Hawaiian... <laughs> for example... The Hawaiian word aloha, as well as the Arabic word salam. In English, the word peace is occasionally used as a farewell, especially for the dead, as in the phrase, rest in peace, brother. Brothers, my own little addition to the Wikipedia entry. So on we go. <clears throat> um, religious beliefs and peace. Religious beliefs often seek to identify and address the basic problems of human life, including the conflicts between, among, and within persons of societies. Many Christians call Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus of Nazareth the Prince of Peace, and see him as a Messiah, which tra transliterated means anointed one. The Christ, who manifested as the Son of God on earth to establish God's kingdom of peace, wherein persons, societies and all of creation are held to be veiled, no, not veiled, are held to be, uh, and all of creation are to be healed of evil. Buddhists believe that peace can be attained once all suffering ends. They regard all suffering as stemming from cravings in the extreme greed, aversions, fears, in brackets, or delusions. To eliminate such suffering and achieve personal peace, followers in the path of the Buddha adhere to a set of teachings called the Four Noble Truths, a central tenet of the B Buddhist philosophy. Islam means submission. The title Muslim, etymologically, directly related to Salam, and the name Islam, means a person who submits to Allah in Salam. The submission to Allah, the Arabic proper noun for the God, for the God, one and only. 
is based on humility. An attitude of humility within one's own self cannot be accomplished without total rejection of violence and a personal attitude and alignment towards peace. I didn't know that. See also Catholic peace traditions and peace in Islamic philosophy. Inner peace. There's also a main article, Inner Peace. Inner Peace, in brackets, or peace of mind, refers to a state of being mentally and spiritually at peace, with enough knowledge and understanding to keep oneself strong in the face of discord or stress. Being at peace is considered by many to be healthy, homeostasis, and the opposite of being stressed or anxious. Peace of mind is generally associated with bliss and happiness. Peace of mind, serenity and calmness are descriptions of a disposition free from the effects of stress. In some cultures, inner peace is considered a state of consciousness or enlightenment that, enlightenment that may be cultivated by various forms of training such as prayer, meditation, tai chi, sh chuan, or yoga. For example, many spiritual practices refer to this peace as an experience of knowing oneself. Finding inner peace is often associated with traditions such as Buddhism and Hinduism, as well as the New Age movement. Inner peace is also the first of our four concepts of living life in, a, in the rave culture, acronym PLUR, P-L-U-R. Now then, Satyagra. Not sure of the pronunciation there, but Satyagra, Graha. Satyagraha, Sanskrit, Satyagraha, is a philosophy and practice of non-violent resistance developed by Mohandas Karamchan, Karamchan Gandhi, also known as Mahatma Gandhi. He deployed Satyagraha techniques in campaigns for Indian independence and also during his earlier struggles in South, Af South Africa. The word Satyagraha itself was coined through a public contest that Gandhi sponsored through the, public, news, through the newspaper he published in South Africa, Indian Opinion. When he realised that neither the common contemporary Hindu language nor the English language contained a word which fully expressed his own meanings and intentions when he talked about his non-violent approaches to conflict. According to Gandhi's autobiography, the contest winner was... Maganlan, Maganlal Gandhi, presumably no relation, who submitted the entry Sadagraha, which Gandhi then modified to Satyagraha. Etymolo etymologically, this Hindic word means truth, firmness, and is commonly translated as steadfastness in the truth or truth force. Truth force. So, Satyagraha theory also influenced Martin Luther King Jr. during campaigns he led during the civil rights movement in the United States. The theory of satra Satyagraha me sees means and ends as inseparable. Therefore, it is contradictory, contradictory, <laughs> contradictory to try to use violence to obtain peace. As Gandhi wrote, they say, means are after all means. I would say means are after all everything. As the means to the uh, as as the means, so the end. Um, and there's a dot 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 end quotation. A contemporary quote, sometimes attributed to Gandhi, but also to A. J. Muste, sums it up: "There is no way to peace. Peace is the way." Yeah. <clears throat> now then, that's nine minutes. So, there's a whole load of this stuff. Justice and injustice, I mean, this is good stuff. And uh, Wikipedians have been writing this stuff. It's awesome. Um, thank you very much, by the way. Appreciate the uh, sharing of your knowledge and, and ideas. Um, so, justice and injustice. Since classical times, it has been noted that peace has sometimes been achieved by the victor over the vanquished by the imposition of ruthless, me ruthless measures. In his book, Agricola, the Roman historian Ta Tacitus in includes eloquent and vicious polemics against the rap rapacity and greed of Rome, one that Tacitus says is by the Caledonian chieftains Cal Cal Calgulus. 
Kalgakus. Gonna have to get these uh, pronunciations. I'm, I'm practicing, I'm learning. So, one that Tacitus says is by the Caledonian chieftain, Calgisus. Ends, or fair, trucidare rapere falsis nomemnibus imperium, ateque ubi solitudinem faciunt passem appellant. I wish I'd listened to my Latin lessons a little more carefully. Uh, so, in other words, to ravage, to slaughter, to usurp under false titles, they call empire. And where they make a desert, they call it peace. It's the Oxford Revised Translation. More recently, advocates for radical reform in justice systems have called for public policy adoption of non-punitive, non-violent restorative justice methods. And many of those study, studying the success of these methods, including the United Nations Working Group on Restorative Justice, have attempted to redefine justice in terms related to peace. From the late 2000s on, a theory of active peace has been proposed, which con conceptually integrates justice into a larger peace theory. So we have movements and activism, which includes pacifism, organisations, United Nations, Nobel Peace Prize, Rhodes Scholarship and other fellowships, International Peace Belt, Gandhi Peace Prize, Paul Bertlett Ray Peace Prize, Student Peace Prize, Culture of Peace News Network, other. And there's a whole list of, ah, monument, then we have monuments, and there's a whole load of monuments. Theories, game theory which I had a look, quick look at earlier, it looks really interesting. Dem democratic peace theory, theory of active peace, many pieces with P-E-A-C-E-S, transrational pieces, peace and conflict studies, measuring and ranking peace. And then we have a list of other sort of things. See also Catholic peace traditions, creative peace building, global peace index. And then, of course, references and notes. So I'm not going to read all of this because I'm actually worried about my camera just stopping suddenly. But anyway, peace. Peace be upon you. Peace be with you.